said, did you pay for that shirt from Old Navy? But, I mean, didn't you see me cut, walk in the store with it? Yes. So then what, what, how, why no, would I have to? out of the store with it now. But didn't I walk in the store with this? No, you didn't. The I didn't walk. The tag's still on. Yeah, the tag is still on, but I didn't walk into the, I didn't walk into the store with my Old Navy top Ma on. I'm on the phone with someone. I can't listen to two people at the same time. I didn't understand you. So you're saying that I didn't walk with the shirt on? In, I didn't come in the store with this? No, you did not walk into Old Navy with that shirt on. You walked out of Old Navy. Well, you're gonna have to call the police then, because I did. We have cameras, ma'am. So, okay, so what are you gonna do? You can check the cameras. So go check the cameras on. right now. Do you want me to come with you? You can come with me. I'm not coming with me. Ma'am, why are you shaking? Are you nervous? Does it look like I'm nervous? It look like you're nervous. Oh my god. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. They're saying that I didn't walk in Old Navy with my shirt on. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen now. No, you're not taking my receipt. So then I you're have gonna to have to press charges. No, you're gonna place me under arrest. Did you guys see me? I just need to see the receipt. No, I'll be done. No, ma'am. Hey, let go off of me. If do you not, do not. Wait, wait, wait. I just need to, this could all be done if I see the receipt. Can you can let I, go off of my no, hand, I Stephanie? No, I cannot. Let go off of my hand. I cannot let go of your hand. Stephanie, I will press charges against you, Stephanie. I will press charges against you. Please let go off, can you tell her to let go off of my hand? Please do not. Can you let go off my hand, Stephanie? This could all be I will press charges against you if you don't let go off my hand. I walked in the store with this shirt on. Can you come with me to Old Navy? No, no. If you don't let go off me, I'm gonna press charges. So if she doesn't let go off of me, I'm gonna press charges against her. Okay, we're just trying to figure this because out. she has, I'm a citizen, she has no right to hold on to my hand. I get that. We're trying to figure things out right now, okay? Go watch their camera and see that I walked in the store with this shirt on. I get that. So? That's not up to me, that's hers. We're just here making sure everything's okay. Okay, let go off of my hand, Stephanie, Man, because I'm, like, I'm gonna get very mad, Stephanie, if you don't let go off of my hand. I walked in the store so then, with this we, shirt on. Why don't we go look at the camera? No, I, you have no right to be holding on to my hand because of what I you do. think. You should have watched the camera watch before the camera. you came. Ma'am, I was Okay, the, I was okay, let go off of me, I'll okay. go to the store. Tell her to let go off my hand okay, because I'll, I'll, I'll get, I'm gonna get very fucking ignorant. Okay. Tell her to let go off my fucking okay. hand. Okay. Oh, Are we okay? Because I will go back to the fucking hospital. Okay? okay? All right, ma'am. Let's go to the store and see <laughs> the camera. All right, we're just here to make sure everything's okay. Okay, and yeah. after, I'm gonna be pressing charges against you, Stephanie. Okay. okay. I'm going back to the stores. They're gonna view the cameras and see that I walked in there with my Old Navy top on. And on top of that, I'm gonna return everything I bought yesterday, which was over $200 worth of stuff. Okay, my jeans, Right here, hey, look, man, we understand Old you're Navy angry. Too. Well, you be do you want? Do you want me to? Do you want to see thing. my jeans too? I'm not, I don't. You don't have no right to ask me for my name. I'm just asking you a conversation. I don't want to have no conversation with you. Who the fuck are you? Then why didn't you do that? What? Then why are we here then? You are here because she said I did not walk in Old Navy with this top on. And there is a tag on your shoe. It doesn't matter. All my tag. Look, I just bought these shoes yesterday. There's a tag in these shoes too. Okay. So, Again, that's easy. I always have tags on my stuff. Again, we're, we're only here for a presence, make sure everything is too open. Yeah, but you guys, do the, the stress and everything that you guys are causing me, because I walked into the store with my top on, we're gonna see what happens now, Stephanie. Huh? Charges, you laid your hand on me for no reason. I never ever thought this would ever happen to me. I could, I could tell you guys this. I never thought this would happen to me. This girl put her top, her hand on my, this girl put her hand on me. Huh. I could deal with it other ways, but 
but you know what? I want to deal with it legally. Whoa. Oh. I can't wait till you view the cameras and see that I was wearing this top. I can't wait. And then to see what's going to happen now. Because a black girl is always angry. But listen, watch. One good thing for you, uh, whatever your name is, okay. is that you never put your hand on me. Oh. When you're told party, make sure things are between you and her. Okay. And if you guys think I'm waiting long, you better think again. Oh, because I have things to do. I walked, I didn't even touch any of you guys' t shirt I walked into the store with my t-shirt on. Okay, so what if I keep the tags on my stuff? I always keep the tags on my stuff. Anybody who knows me, after this goes on social media, everybody who knows me knows I keep the tags on my shit. Where's the camera now? Where's Jeff? If you guys think I'm waiting long, you better think again. Where is the camera? Let's see what happens. And you laid right. your hand on me. I do not take well to people laying their hand on me, eh? Oh, I'm gonna press charges against you. A civil suit. After this, I'm gonna call my cousin who's a lawyer to come and get you. Hi. Yeah. I'm Jillian. I'm the store manager. Did you see me walk into the store with my top on? I apologize. I did not. I wasn't looking at the camera. So she said that she, you, you guys looked at the cameras and, and seen that I did not. Okay. If you want to give me a couple minutes. Okay. I don't have long. So hurry up. Okay. I have something to do. Okay. Thank I'm you, totally Jillian. Oh, that. guess what? The lady in America, <laughs> the lady in America who profiled the other black guy, her name was Jillian too. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I apologize for the incident. And you know what? Tomorrow, this could have all been so easy. Don't, don't, don't okay, touch okay, my shit. I won't. Don't touch it. Tomorrow, all this stuff that I brought from Old Navy, I'm bringing it back. Everything, okay. including this green top that I had on. I bought like, I'm bringing this shit that I had back. All this stuff, mm -hmm. I was bringing this back to get an exchange. But you want to know what? I didn't like the way I felt in here. I felt profiled. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go to another Old Navy. You know so what? let's see. Oh my God, I never thought this would happen to me. I am the perfect person for this to happen to. Hi! <laughs> Woo! Okay, we're going to see now. Go look at your cameras. Because she, she said in my video that she, you guys watch the cameras and you seen that I uh, that I came in here. Oh, so I came in here with this top? That's what I came in here with? With this ugly under top? Man. Is that what you're saying? I understand. Okay, let's see what, let's see what happened. Look at my purse. My purse has no, wait. My purse, my purse has nothing in it. You see my Zara bag? This Zara, this Zara has, we're gonna see. They are trying to say that I walked in here like this because I have nothing else in my bags. So let's see what happens. Let's see. And I, you know what? On top of charging Stephanie, I want her to apologize to me for putting her hands on me. Who the fuck did she think she is? She touched you? Yeah, she did. I have it on video. Okay. The hell is she putting her hands on me? Does she know who I am? Well, I apologize. My staff has never, ever touched anyone. Say that again. I said I apologize. Your staff, Our staff should never touch anyone. Security guard, did she put her hand on me? Yes or no? Yes, she Yes, she did. Okay. Security guard's my witness now. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen now. And you know what? Your time is running out because I have things to do. I have a job. I have my braces. They came from my benefits. That. I have a job. So I you better hurry up and do what you have to do. Because you guys are making me mad. Hurry up! I know. There's nothing you can say to calm me down. I know that there's So whatever training you got, you should have fucking put it into to perspective okay. before I walked out the store and you tra chased I me. To, I need you to lower your voice. No. I know that you are very upset. I'm not lowering my voice. I have a right to not lower my voice. I understand She that. put her I hands on that. me because you guys said that I didn't walk in the store with my top. 
But me, sir. I know, I know. Can I know. you believe this? I know. That's what. Did you see it on I TV? Am, I understand, this sir. Is, this is why we're here to. to sir, help I know. you see this on social media. I know. Would you ever think it's gonna happen to you just because you're brown? I know, right? No. Exactly. No. Oh, I just need you to just bring it down a bit. Miss so I know, I know you're upset. Yeah, but sir, I, you know that I, I'm wasting my time now. I've been here for over okay, five minutes. I understand, you, but if we, can, I, if we can deal with it and get it over with, the quicker the better, right? You know what I mean? Can I that, please that's ask a, that's for all your phone number? No. So you can leave. So Go fuck yourself while you want my phone number. I would kids, like you right? to be. I would like to be able to contact you though. Mister, get the fuck out, me bumba clap. Okay. Yes, I let y'all come with us. Yes, I let and stuff. Come on, let's just. Let's Are you guys gonna give me a settlement before I bring you guys to court? Let's just. Is that why you want my number? Because if just, that's okay, why, no, I'll give it to you. I would just like to be able to contact you. No. Or, okay, so. So how would are you like a phone number for thing? us? I'm waiting for him to see the cameras that I walked in I, that I didn't walk in like this. Okay. You think I'm gonna walk up my house looking like this? Look at me, don't I look like I work? I have braces. You never like, said you didn't. I do, I do my nails, I did my hair. Like I have a life. You think I'm gonna, you know how much this top came up to with the 20% off? This top came up to like $13. You think I'm gonna put my life at risk in jeopardy for $13? Are you crazy? But I, I, you must like, be fucking mad. I have a car payment. I have a mortgage. I have, so I have, I have things to pay. Ma'am, and I totally understand that. Monsieur. And I'm real, I so apologize that this has happened. Because uh, this is not right. And this is not something that I condone in my store. And I would like... This has never happened to me before in my life. And I always see it on social it media. It shouldn't have to happen. I see it on I social media. And the only reason I'm crying is because I'm hurt. I understand that. I never expected this to ever happen to me. You know, you go out there, you go to school, you get a good education, you do everything right, and then you come into a store that, oh, look at my ripped jeans. Look at my ripped jeans from all Navy. Oh, my clothes are from all Navy. And they have the right to do this to me. They think they have a right to do this to me. Now she's telling me to shut up. I didn't no, tell you to shut up. I didn't tell you to shut up. I want to, I, I want them to come down and tell me, because Stephanie, I thought Stephanie said she already checked the video. What am I doing here? She told me on my tape that she already checked the video and she seen that I walked in here without this top. So why is it taking so know, long? I don't know why she would have told you that. I apologize. I don't know why she would have said that. I'm going to deal with her when I can, as soon as I can help you. Okay? I don't know why she said that to you. I'm not leaving until I, she tells, she sees, she, I get my apology from Stephanie for putting her hands on me. And after, on top of that, I'm still filing okay. a civil suit against you okay. guys. And I, that's okay. My, my cousin Latoya Graham, she is a lawyer okay. and she's going to come for this store. Okay. 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 So, can we find out what's happening with Stephanie? I will. Thank you. Okay. The girl put her hands on okay. me. My God. Okay. And then it's always the black girl that's angry. Obviously, we're gonna be angry. Well, I. Sir, whatever your what's your name, sir? Kimber. Kimber, didn't you hear Stephanie already say that she already checked the video? She said that already. I came in late. I wasn't there for. Remember when she who was there when she was holding on to my hand? Weren't you the one that seen her holding on to my hand like that? There's stuff on this. I saw as much, but... I but I that. asked her if she already seen the video and she said yes. I wasn't uh, listening at that time. Kind of Unfortunately, like, again, again, what was done was done. And we're just, we're just here to kind of fix the situation moving forward, correct? The situation should have been fixed when you should have told her to not put her hands on me. She had no right to do that, sir. That by the time I got yeah, there. she I'm had sorry. no right to do I'm, that, sir. You have, you have to admit we're, that. We're here to clarify the situation. We didn't know the whole concept of the like the whole... So situation I don't, that's why we just kind but of that's why you guys should act like you don't make exactly. well, a, a citizen a girl put her hands on me you know that how disrespectful that is well, it's like for anyone. especially in my community i get that do you know what that leads to in my community Absolutely. i would have been charged if i if i did anything to her Absolutely. even though she was the one that put her hands on me well that's the thing right so it, I, it's a very stressful situation like i said like there's a lot of misunderstanding between you and her and we're kind of just there to kind of make sure no one gets hurt or nothing and, and that's I, where security and square one stands from, right? Okay. We're not here to arrest anyone. That's why we didn't put our hands on you. Yeah. We gave you the courtesy of like, you know what? But you we'll cannot put your hands on me without proof. And I already kept showing the girl. Again. I said, excuse yeah. me. I told her exactly everything. I yeah. showed her Absolutely. my vans. This is my first day wearing my vans. My vans even Absolutely. have a, a, a tag in it. Yeah. Like, like some people kind of do their own style and they get that. But again, but the reason why I keep my tag on everything 
is because your reasons I'm a weirdo <laughs> like your, that. Your reasons, your reasons. Some people do that too, right? Some, pe some people keep the sticker on their New Era cap. I don't necessarily agree with it. But hey, if that's your style, that's your style. And the and Raptors are going to be playing today and look exactly. at the kind of mood I'm in. <laughs> when they win, they Canada's right. about to make history and the Old Navy made history in Canada. When they win, I'm sure you're going to be a little bit better. Do you remember the chair girl? Remember the chair? Guess yeah. who? Guess who? Guess how her video went viral? Did you see? Did you look up the credits? Where it said Lisa Calderon? I'm Lisa Calderon. <laughs> All my videos go viral. Yeah. So again, our. Um... Did you see me walk in with my shirt on? We're still going through it. Sorry. Excuse me, security. No, I don't want. I don't want to keep you here any longer. Why do you admit that you made a mistake? I I did not. No one. I don't know why Stephanie would have told you that because that was she, not. She Stephanie. On why don't you guys call Stephanie? Stephanie said she had seen it on camera. Okay, so Stephanie put her hand on me because she said her happen. proof was that she's seen it on camera and now happen. I'm still here waiting for the camera and now you want me to leave without no. an apology and without Stephanie admitting she was wrong for putting her hands on me I have the receipt for this shirt in my bag okay and I appreciate that like I totally appreciate that right now my cameras are not cooperating with us so I don't want you to stay here any longer that you have to, like I don't want you missing being late for work I don't want you being late for your appointment okay well my you could take my telephone number and my name now yes you're because okay I that? expect a call okay and you got and I want your number too and your name does your Wi-Fi work properly okay I'm just gonna go live so I could explain something even though I really do not have to explain myself and even though I have the right to wear my tags on my clothes. I'm just gonna explain this once really nicely for those racists in the comments that are saying it looked like I did steal. Hi everybody, I'm just going live just to explain something once because it's just too much to type. And uh, first of all, I'll explain the situation to you guys once and show you exactly how it went down and <sighs> I'm still a little nervous and shaking up. I'm still very angry. I woke up still very angry. The whole point is I went into Old Navy because the previous day, my daughter and myself, we bought over $200 worth of merchandise. The problem is, is that one, I bought three sandals and one of the sandals that I picked up, I picked up, I accidentally picked up a size 10 instead of um, a size nine. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna go to the Old Navy in square one, which is closer to where I live, and exchange it, no problem. My issue is, the problem I have is that I love Old Navy, and everybody who shops there knows, like when you shop a certain amount of money, you um, automatically get an email saying, you know, your next, um, your next visit, you can get a certain amount of money off. So I said, let me look in here because if I'm gonna buy anything and I'm gonna get 20% off, it's better to just buy um, whatever it is that I want from now and get the 25% off because I'm a frugal, frugal shopper. Secondly, the reason why I kept the tags on my Old Navy top is because of employees ignorant, dumbass employees like Stephanie. Because everybody who shops at Old Navy also knows you can buy a jeans and a shirt today for $60 and tomorrow it goes 50% off. But normally you're only supposed to bring the receipt in and then they automatically discount your receipt. But because of stupid ignorant, ignorant ass employees like Stephanie, sometimes you just bring your stuff in the bag instead of them telling you know to go around the store and look for the same item and stuff like that instead of just discounting you right away because some employees like Stephanie are dumb and they don't know the policy and then they want you to go around and get the stuff and all that stuff and you don't want to go through the hassle so you just bring back the stuff worn they know it's worn and everything they just are wanting the price tags to give you the discount and that's why I keep the price tags on clothes like Old Navy, Zara, any, any place where I know if I shop here today and buy it for full price and I can get half price off tomorrow half 
if it so happens to go on sale i'll keep the price tag on so the thing is is that i went in there i said okay since i have 20 percent off let me go around and shop i seen a white dress two skirts and a couple other things i liked i went i tried it on but as soon as i came out the train room i started to feel racially uh, the profiling started and i didn't understand what was going on i even went in the line and I was about to purchase my items, but because of the way I felt, I said, you know what? I don't need a shop here. I could simply just go back to Yorkdale, bring my shit there, and get my dress there, right? Especially because I was working in Toronto that day. So I came out the line. I confronted a store employee. I said, you know what, miss? I don't know what's going on in here, but I feel very profiled in this store. And you know what? I don't have to shop here. I could go to Yorkdale. She started saying, oh, no, we're not profiling you. We're not profiling you. You see, at that moment, had she said, oh, Alicia, there, there's a tag on your shirt and asked me for my receipt. At that moment, I would have understood it was a misunderstanding and I would have been happy to clear that shit up. I would have been happy to show my receipt. But no, she denied it. I went like this. See, that's how the tag showed. This me. See, I even bought my top here. That's how the tag show. I was the one that popped the tag by accident. I didn't even re remember that my tag was there. So at that point, I realized there could have been a misunderstanding. There could my pet tag could have been being shown through my shirt. How? I don't know. I have long hair. I don't know how it would have shown, but. I expressed my concern to her before I left the store. Then I left the store. You know, my daughter was the one that pointed out to me. If anybody goes to square one and they know where Old Navy is at the, the Forever 21 entrance, you know that Browns and Sephora and, and uh, Mac is five minutes away, walk away from square one. I mean, from Old Navy. I went to Brown's because I was wearing Vans and I and I really love the Vans so I said to myself you know what? I'm gonna go buy a second one then I went I w went to Brown's I see this fucking bitch come up to me she didn't say miss there with a misunderstanding you have a a tag in your shirt do you have a um do you have a receipt she didn't say that she came up to me she goes we seen you come into the store with another top on and you left with that top on that's what she said to me we seen it on camera i said what that's what she said to me then after that i, I laughed it off and i still went about my way and i went to ask the um lady on you know what do you have that the, the cushy vans in here blah 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 she said no then i seen the security come you know what pissed me off t t today i'm a little bit more pissed off at the security because i gave it to them yesterday but the point is is that Stephanie had no right, even if I were a th thief, even if I were a thief, which I was not. Stephanie had no right to put her hands on me. And coming from where I'm from, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a black woman. You put your hands on me, that, that, means, that's a, that means we're going to fight. It took everything inside of me, knowing my past and where I came from. It took everything inside of me not to hack, spit in Stephanie's face and beat the fuck out of her. Everything. And that's why I was shaking. She's like, oh, why you're shaking? I'm shaking because I'm trying my hardest not to fucking go back to jail for you, bitch. That's why. Anyways, the whole point is, is I offered to go back to the store with them at this point. I told Jillian, I feel so bad for Jillian because Jillian really didn't have anything to do with it. Jillian was kind of mortified. I told Jillian what happened and whatever the case is. And then after that, you know, she apologized. They asked her my number and whatever. I, I didn't want to give them my number because I know my rights. I'm, I'm actually like, you know, these ambulance um chaser lawyers are already in my inbox asking me if I want a case it has nothing to do with a case for me it has to do about my my civil rights everybody knows that I'm big on this and you know what hurts me the most what hurts me the most is black people do not have a voice without social media if it were not for social media I would have seen absolutely no justice so that's why I did not give her my receipt that was three minutes later after accusing me of stealing a 13 after my super cash that top came up to about $13 it took minute after all that that's when she asked me for my receipt listen bitch I know my rights I have a right to wear my tags on my clothes showing or not showing and I did not it was not showing I didn't go in there to provoke them I went in there to exchange my my shit and the one thing that really bothers me 
is so, the only way black people have a voice. The only way somebody could get canceled. The only way we could get any sort of justice is through, is through social media. You think Angus would be calling me back right now? Angus, call me back. She said they're receiving death threats. People are planning protests and um, all this stuff. And she's come back to apologize for me. She called me two times. So, uh, sorry, Stephanie, I do not feel sorry for you receiving death threats. That's how I felt when you held hell onto my hand. That felt like a direct death threat or a direct threat of me going to jail. Because, honestly, I, I, I don't know what held me for not going after this, for, for, for you know, not fucking, huh, I'm so mad. But the whole point, this is what happened, guys. I, you know, I'm sorry for taking up everybody's time. The whole point of the matter is I was not in the wrong at all. Even if I were a criminal, even if I were stealing, she had no right to put her hand on me. But I was not stealing. I went to go exchange merchandise. I felt profiled. I voiced my opinion about feeling profiled before I left the store. At that point, that's when they should have talked to me and said, you know, there could have been a misunderstanding. I was the one that went like this. At that point, that's when my tag popped out. I left the store. Five minutes later, they, they found me. Then Stephanie put her hands on me, not the security, which it's the security's job to, to, to say, Alicia, let's go back to the store. They didn't. And, you know, that's exactly what happened. Jillian apologized. The district store manager called me, apologized two times. Square One reached out to me. American um, Client Services reached out to me. But I'm going to be filing a, compl a complaint with the Human Rights Tribunal of Canada. And this is not going to go away, guys. It's not going to go away. Not so easy. They fucked with the wrong person. They fucked with the wrong person. I have a feeling that I was chosen for this fucking assignment. And you know what? I'm going to fucking get them. Anyways, guys, have a good day. I'll keep you posted. Bye.